Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So Joe Mazzulla, the Boston head coach, downplays the Miami Heat's culture. Now he said, I mean, everybody has culture, Mazzulla said. I think we have ours as well. Both teams have shown that they're able to get through good times and bad. And that says a lot about the players in the organization more than anything. I will say he's definitely wrong about Every team has culture. I wouldn't say that at all, because when you look at the Memphis Grizzlies, what type of culture is that? When you look at some of the worst teams in the NBA that have been bad for the past 10 to 12 years, that's not culture at all. They have a losing mentality. Think about the 76ers. They have Joel Embiid, the MVP, James Harden. They still can't get over the hump. The Phoenix Suns, they have Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, CP3. They have all these different players, and they can't get over the hump. So I will say, every team doesn't have culture. Also, too, every team in the NBA doesn't have a winning culture. A bunch of players that play in the NBA say that a lot of players in the NBA don't care about basketball that much compared to other guys, or especially compared to the older guys that actually built up the NBA. They don't care about the NBA. All they care about is playing a little bit of basketball and getting paid. But do they love the game? No. So I will say culture is a very big thing, and I don't understand why he's trying to downplay the Miami Heat's culture because at the end of the day, guess what? He walked in to a championship contending team, okay? Who is Joe Mazzulla before this at the end of the day? And like I said, I think that Spo doesn't get enough credit for this. Spo preps his guys, and Spo, a lot, Spo can literally take G League players and literally transform them into players. But he's, he's able to get players to play better than they ever could. He's getting G League guys to play at an NBA all-time level, and that's player development, and once again, Spo plays to his strengths. Spo knows what his players can't do and can do at the end of the day. And and once again, that's why coaching is so important. That's why coach um, player development is so important, knowing your guys' strengths and weaknesses. And at the end of the day, like I said, I know we like to throw around the word heat culture. Culture is very important because it sets the tone, not only for the organization, but for the season and for the players. Kevin Love said that he came to the Miami Heat. Why? Because of the winning culture. Okay, he knew that the Miami Heat didn't have the best record compared to all the other teams in the NBA, but who is left standing? And that's one thing about the Miami Heat that you cannot count out is their culture at the end of the day. Their culture is what they live by, they play by, they die by. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.